Mohammed Morandi is a professor at Tehran University. He joins us now from the capital, Tehran. Good to have you with us. Why have people been protesting over the past few days? Thank you. Well, there are economic difficulties in the country. Uh, the Iranian people, after the JCPOA, many of them had expectations that the economic situation would improve. But as we saw, both Obama and Trump, they repeatedly violated the JCPOA by passing new laws, such as the Iran Sanctions Act under Obama, uh, the visa restriction laws, and also under Trump, the uh, presidential decrees restricting uh, visas, and also uh, the more recent sanctions on Iran. So uh, the Treasury and other arms of the U.S. government, both under Obama and Trump, have basically uh, weakened the JCPOA extensively. Right. And that okay. has I could just jump in uh, there, basically focus on the kept protests a lot of the more, sanctions we're regime intact. used to seeing in Iran small protests against economic conditions. But what's interesting about these is that they've spread to numerous cities and they've been picked up mm. by social media outlets. There's some sort of movement that appears to be going on. Or is that not the case? Uh, it's difficult to say because on the one hand the economic situation is something that exists across the board but of course uh, I think Iranians while they're upset with mismanagement but they also recognize that the administration is being uh, prevented from doing a lot of what it's trying to do because of the United States and its allies and the, and the sanctions that I mentioned and of course social media makes things uh, much more easy so people are have information but also there is a fact that has to keep, be kept in mind and that while some people have been protesting uh, economic problems we do see a, a very distinct effort on behalf of foreign governments for example BBC Persian which is uh, belongs to the British government the VOA which is uh, owned by the United States government and media outlets that are directly or indirectly funded by the West, they are, sh they are uh, showing uh, an effort to uh, ex ex expand the protests. They're, okay. they're trying to uh, uh, intensify them so, in, in order to politicize them. Okay, so I think it's a it combination of a number of things. how concerned the government is, because we do see uh, the government coming out and recognizing that these protests are about more than the economics of the country. I mean, we're hearing anti-government slogans, death to Rouhani, um, forget Palestine, no to Gaza, no to Lebanon, you know, deriding uh, Iran's foreign policies. Mm. I mean, how concerned is the government about this? Well, the protesters, uh, although, as you rightly pointed out, are, are not large in number, mm. but even you have to keep in mind that these protesters are not all chanting the same slogans. Some of them have been uh, chanting anti-government slogans or slogans against Iranian foreign policy. But when you look at the clips, you see that uh, in some cases there is unity in the slogans and in other cases when there are radical pro um, voices, then you see a lot of the crowd uh, not repeating their slogans. So it's, it's not so simple. But there is a, a concerted effort, I, I think, on behalf of the Western, Western media outlets. And, and I think this is something you have to keep in mind, that in Iran, every once in a, whenever there is any sign of discontent, you will always have the main think tanks in the Western media saying that the regime is about to implode and the regime is unpopular. and the. And we've been hearing that for 35, 39 I mean, years now. I, I do take happen, your point there because it is uh, like quite interesting in at, uh, just how quickly the Trump administration has been jumping on these protests, warning the government not to react with a heavy hand. Yes, it is ironic, especially Trump being such a divisive figure inside the United States and the protests and the counter protests in the United States. And in and, uh, and Charlottesville, we had a person killed. And on the other hand, we see that the United States is supporting Saudi Arabia in the destruction of Yemen and in, in mass genocide through starvation. We see the United States, uh, both under Obama and Trump, supporting extremist groups in Syria. Uh, it's not really for the United States to talk about uh, human rights when it comes to Iran. Mohamed Morandi, good to speak to you there in Tehran. Thanks very much for joining us.